Have you ever wondered how many people planet Earth can support? Up until around 12,000 years ago, our hunter-gatherer ancestors walked great distances searching for food and expanding their territories. Humans then adopted agricultural practices and became the most advanced and dominant species on the planet thanks to the use of language, knowledge, and innovation. This allowed us to migrate to new lands, establish permanent settlements, and populate the Earth. But as the size of the human population increases, the availability of the natural resources of our planet decreases. So how many people can live on Earth before all resources are exhausted? The UN estimates that about four to five babies are born every second across the globe. This means that by the time you finish watching this video, over 800 babies will be born. The world population is expected to hit about 8 billion by 2025, 9 billion by 2040, and 10 billion by 2060. The UN estimates that by the end of the century, the planet will have to sustain around 11 billion humans, India is expected to show the highest population increase, overtaking China as the world's most populous country by around 2030. Some scientists believe that no one knows when or at what level peak population will be reached. This is due to environmental factors that limit the Earth's carrying capacity, such as the nitrogen cycle, available quantities of phosphorus, and atmospheric carbon concentration. About 200 years ago, the philosopher Thomas Malthus wrote, The power of population is so superior to the power of the earth to be able to produce subsistence for man, that premature death must, in some shape or another, visit the human race. Malthus believed that humans will eventually overpopulate the planet and overpower the earth's capacity to replenish itself, and that humans will consume all the earth's natural resources and bring extinction upon themselves as they die in a mass famine. Those visions might sound grim, but many scientists think that planet Earth does indeed have a maximum carrying capacity of 9 billion to 10 billion people to feed and sustain. Those scientists argue that this is due to the limited availability of fresh water and acres of land suitable for growing crops, supposing that most of the human population will become strictly vegetarian by adopting a grain-based diet and leaving little to no lands for livestock. Population dynamic science has observed that invasive species that expand will eventually come to a crash and, by then, only the fittest will survive as they compete for food and resources. After that crash, they tend to slowly recover but never reach the high numbers that were seen when they initially peaked. Humanity may one day face a similar fate. Many experts believe that in order to minimize our ecological footprint, we need to reduce the global inequalities of energy consumption without sacrificing decent and equal living for everyone. Growth and expansion may be linked to power, but humans have become too powerful, and now scientists and environmental advocates are constantly calling to limit our energy consumption, fearing irreversible damage and serious risks for both human societies and natural systems. On the opposite side of the spectrum, recent reports state that the human race is facing a fertility crisis, causing fewer people to be born. A recent study suggested that sperm counts in the West had plummeted by 59% between 1973 and 2011, and that they're set to reach zero by 2045. Other scientists criticized the study and argued that it relied on flawed assumptions. One thing is for sure, China and Japan are facing low birth rates. In Japan, birth rates are falling faster than expected. In 2020, Japan had its lowest number of births since records began in 1899. This reduction of birth rate is associated with work-related stress and difficulty sustaining life. The Japanese government started funding AI-based systems to help people find mates and drive the birth rate back up. Although the planet's capacity to sustain everyone is limited, humans continue to come up with new ways to increase birth rates. What about you? Do you think the world is experiencing an overpopulation crisis? If so, how would you suggest we deal with it? Share your thoughts in the comment section.